something is terribly, terribly wrong, and we have been led very far astray. It took me six months to get out the legs to recover from the ulcers. And if you see photos from then to now, you wouldn't know I was the same person. I looked sick, a real sickie. You might get ulceration, you might get just a rash, or you may get breathing problems. Stomach upsets, skin rashes, headaches. It amazes me, absolutely amazes me. Um, how has something uh, which, which is basically like a, a very big scientific and medical mistake been carried out? Aside from chlorination, for the past 50 years, our health authorities have been adding the chemical fluoride as the first public line of attack on tooth decay, with some experts claiming that fluoride is poisoning us and the research is being overlooked. The safety standards for water fluoridation in this country were based and are based on fraudulent science. The claim of fraudulent science was boosted when a Harvard professor in the US came under investigation for bearing the results when one of his students made a profound and terrifying discovery. There's the possibility that is now being looked at in the United States that fluoride might have uh, increased the prevalence of a rare type of bone cancer in young, in young men or boys. This bombshell raises questions here about the safety of mandatory water fluoridation and whether there's more at stake than just fighting tooth decay. I believe it would kill me. Geelong grandmother Elaine Valentine says she couldn't understand why she was able to lead a normal healthy life in her hometown, but whenever she headed to Melbourne and drank the water, she'd come home a very sick woman. I feel lousy and I get very lethargic, couldn't care less about anything. Uh, very, very tired and very, very wheezy and just plain, feel plain ill. Dr Philip Robertson says up to 200,000 Australians may be suffering from an intolerance to fluoride and not realise it, with symptoms ranging from headaches or indigestion to chronic arthritis. If somebody's taking fluoride and they suspect there's a link between their symptoms, it's a matter of getting them off the fluoride and watching to see if there's an improvement. Oh. In some people it could be fatal. If I'd continued, it could have killed me. She's had to fork out hundreds of dollars for a reverse osmosis water filter, the only way to remove fluoride in the home, but says it's restored her health. Symptoms went almost immediately. Fluoridation in most water supplies uh, it involves putting an industrial waste, a waste from the phosphate fertiliser industry, into drinking water. And not only does it contain fluoride, but it contains traces of arsenic and heavy metals. So that in itself is pretty worrying. Professor Mark Diesendorf from the Institute of Environmental Studies at the Uni of New South Wales says there's enough science to prove the case against fluoride. And we deserve the right to choose whether we have it in our water or not. Even more frightening thing is that the health departments are not telling the truth about it. There, they are so committed to fluoridation that they are suppressing evidence of harm. Everyone has a right to uh, be free from such exposures from what is essentially mass medication with an uncontrolled dose. So this is really a violation of ethics as well as a violation of people's health.